What's going on guys? Just ate a Greek yogurt, drank some water. But in today's video, I wanted to do a home workout. And usually I go to gym. I've been going to gym for about two weeks now. I've been going pretty hard, you know, working out consistently, eating well for the most part. And I don't have time. I have to play in like 45 minutes. So I wanted to get like a quick home workout in for about 30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes shower and then have to hop on. And I wanted to record it because I never done like a really, like a real, real workout video. So it's nothing, it's not going to be nothing too serious, but I'm going to do a basic, uh, probably a bicep and tricep or bicep and shoulders workout for you guys and just for fun. So let's do this. So we're going to start off with some basic curls. This, I believe this is 30 pounds each arm. I would do more weight if I had, but unfortunately I don't have. So I always do good reps. I feel like a huge problem that I see at the gym especially is that people use their back. And the reason they use their back is because they don't have enough power to actually lift the weight very well. If one thing I learned is freaking form. You have to have good form do, to do good reps, obviously. So for example, I do a whole rep. Now, I do one, you see how my back is straight? All I'm doing is lifting my forearm up and down. Up and down. Look at this. I'm not like straining like Ugh! and I feel like that's I see that a lot of gym like people try to do like 45 50 pounds I'm like I could do that obviously but the people at the gym that do that they struggle and I see them using their back it's completely wrong for me form dude just do the weight you can do and keep working your way up it's that simple now let's do some hammer curls hammer curls are basically doing curls but just straight up it's like you're it's like you're beating it's like you have a hammer you're ah, hammering down I honestly love this workout uh, when I first started working out I barely used it but over time I started doing it and it just helped with my muscle growth I guess curling in da -da. Da -da. Da -da. Now the next thing we could do are supersets, which basically it usually can consist of what well, I call this a superset. It usually can consist of you know getting to a weight, uh, let's say dumbbell curling 30s, going down to 25s, doing another set, going down to 20, and doing one more set of like lower. You're probably gonna have to do lower reps because you're tired, but that's what I want to do. But instead of doing that, we're gonna do basically we're gonna curl, and then we're gonna do hammers. So it's going to be really exhausting on your muscle, but it's obviously going to help it grow. So now I'm going to go for 8 reps of this curling, 2, 3, 3, always good to go all the way down and all the way up. No halfway, none of that cheap shit, don't cheat. The harder it is, the better, I lost count, I think I'm in 7, 7, 8, 8. Then immediately go to hammers. One, one, two, two, three, three, four. And once you start feeling that strain on your muscle, you know you're making it work. You know you're putting that work in. Five, six, six, seven, seven. Like right now, it's hurting. Bad. Eight. Right now my biceps were just hurting so bad, but huge reasons because I worked out biceps two days ago. So they're obviously still a little sore, but like supersets are the way to go. Especially if you want to grow your muscle. You want to grow your biceps, like you want to grow these things, just make sure like supersets are really good. It's always good to change up your, your workouts, your routine, like everything. This is fun. I'm killing two birds with one stone, getting my workout in and doing a video. Now for one of my favorite uh, bicep workouts, I forgot what it's called. I don't remember names much. I think Arnold made this or some shit. I don't know. But the curl against gravity. That's what I call it. Basically, you're gonna bend down a little bit. Put, well, it's usually done better while sitting, but I really don't have anywhere to sit right now. And you're gonna let your arm kind of rest on your knee, but not really. And let your arm go all the way down. Just curl. This thing hurts a lot, but that's how you build muscle. Now we do this arm. I don't know if I could get the good formation here. Basically, you don't, you don't, you want to put like, like put your, 
arm by your leg, your knee, but you're not really laying it on it. You're just curling, man. You're just curling away, fighting against gravity, and it's really intensifying that muscle right there. This shit is hard as a rock. That's how you do it out here, boys and girls. So I don't have time to repeat every workout three times, but usually what I do is do every workout I showed you, curls, hammer curls, I did three sets of those, those two, then the supersets, I, I change it up. You know, you always wanna change up your, your workout routine, that way your muscles get confused, because the, the more you do the same routine, your muscles get used to it, it becomes a lot easier, you know, it gets harder to grow muscle, it's harder to really put that intensity in your muscle. Once you start changing it up, doing supersets, doing all these weird things, your muscle's not used to it, so it's really hard, and it's just, it's just better overall. But I usually like to do three sets of all those four things. That concludes my bicep workout. And then supersets, it varies. I might do only one set, two sets after doing all those three, just because my arms are so tired already by then. Now we're gonna do some shoulders. We're gonna raise the bar a little bit. One, two, three, four. These I could, are pretty hard. They're such a good workout though. After you do three sets of those, we're gonna go ahead and do a straight ahead. Straight forward. One, one, two. Now usually I could do a lot more weight than this, but for the, for the front, the sides are always really heavy. Yeah. 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 Super Saiyan style. I always try to aim for eight to ten. Uh, if it's really heavy, you're really, like really pushing yourself, let's go for six. If you want to do more reps, then you can go for 12, 10 to 12. Yeah, peace. Now we're gonna do some Arnold reps. Bring it here. And that's, oh, I got a fan up here. Hold on, back up. 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 These are usually the three shoulder workouts I always do. But I always mix it up. Like I told you guys, you always wanna mix it up. I always like change one workout here and there, randomly. So that concludes my bicep and shoulder workout. I usually do those three workouts, three to four sets. I change it up, I had a workout here and there, but at home, I don't have too many options. Uh, what, I, what I have, uh, free weights, my body, pretty much that's it. So now, now that I'm done with this, I usually go outside in the backyard. I run for like five, 10 minutes, something I've been doing lately. Uh, and just get a little bit cardio in after my workout so I can slowly lose that fat. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a small homework I decided to do since I wasn't able to go to the gym today. I, love, I hate missing a day. So usually when I can't go to the gym, I don't have time. I work out at home for about 30, 40 minutes, doing whatever I can just to keep up with my workout routine. But like I said, hope you enjoyed this little cool video. Uh, it's the first time ever doing this type of video, pretty much. So if you'd like to see this more, leave a like. Uh, this is just like a little fun thing. I can make it a little bit more serious when it comes to like workouts and all these things. I uh, kind of want to do something like this, maybe in the near future. But for now, this is just a little fun. So like I said, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been your boy Afti, and I'm out. Peace.